Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So Apple have started rolling out iOS 18 beta 3 for all their supported devices. And in this video, let's talk about every new change, what iOS 18 beta 3 brings on the table. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So towards the left hand side, this is my iPhone 15 plus and towards the right hand side, this is Pro Max. First of all, this device I have not updated to the latest build right now. It is still running beta 2 because we wanted to compare the changes. So first of all, let me show you this software information. If you see here, iOS version is 22. A5307F. Previously also you can see the alphabet was F. Modern firmware also got an upgrade. Previously it was 2.13.00. Now it's 2.14.01. Talking about the update size, so on my 15 Pro Max, the update size was 1.17 GB. Here I forgot to take a screenshot so I'm not sure what was the update size but it was somewhere around 1 GB itself. And guys now before moving ahead if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Now let's compare the benchmark results. So I do have the previous benchmarks also and will compare it with the newer one. Talking about the Geek Benchmark application, these are the results from the newer, these are the results from the newer build and if I compare it with the previous one which was beta 2 you can see on this latest build the scores are slightly lower compared to the previous one. Even the GPU scores are slightly lower but if you compare it's not a huge difference. And later on we performed the wildlife extreme test test this time the stability scores were 72.7% and previously if you see the scores were 74.3% and another thing which I noticed here this time the device drained 10% of battery while performing the wildlife extreme stress test. Previously the battery drain was only 5%. These are the Entoto benchmark scores wherein device have scored 15,38,000. Previously device had scored 15,30,000. And now let's talk about the changes what do you get to see. So the first change is layered to the lock screen. I mean the wallpaper section which can be accessed from here also. On this latest build now we have a support of dynamic wallpapers. You can see the way colors are being changed in the preview section and sometimes if the wallpaper color is being changed you will see that instant shift instead of that smooth transition. So I would say this is still kind of buggy. It's not fully stable but now if you apply this wallpaper on your device it will automatically change the colors. So this is one add-on what they have done related to wallpapers. There are few changes in the control center and one of them you will soon get to know once you install this latest build that's layered to the background for the tiles. Now we have that grey shade instead of that dark shade which we used to see on previous build or you can say beta 1 or beta 2. And another change what you'll see here in the control center. So for example if you long press on any of the toggle you consider Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you'll see these arrows for the drop down options which wasn't the case. Previously we had to long press and hold then the pop-up menu used to pop up but now you can just tap on these arrows to get that pop-up view. You'll see these arrows on the supporting settings. After that another change what they have done and that's layered to screen recording. So for example here you can see previously we also had the text like whether the screen recording is off or on with the text beneath the screen recording but now that's not the case and also if you long press on screen recording these are the options we used to get but on the latest build we are only getting this start option and there was a description which was mentioned on the previous build that has also been removed. Another change layer to screen recording so whenever you start the screen recording now you get to see recording instead of on text. So this is another change what they have done. Also in the control center now the animation of flashlight got revamped. Now animations are a lot smoother compared to previous ones and also you can see instead of that straight line we do have this curved line to adjust the intensity and the focal length. Now with a single tap you can increase or completely decrease the brightness and if you have set a certain level of brightness later on whenever you turn on the torch the brightness level remains same it doesn't go to max so it all depends on what level you have set later on whenever you turn on or turn off the torch it gets adjusted to the same level also one thing which i noticed here on the latest build while sliding the torch slider sometimes the brightness reduces even though when it's set to manual these were some of the changes in the control center now let's see the changes on the home screen so the first change what you'll notice and that's led to the dark mode now many third party application also adapts to the dark theme which wasn't the case previously and if you have applied the dark mode now there are slight changes done in the icon of maps application previously it used to be more darker now they have brightened up the app icon after that eye tracking also got upgraded with more points to look at previously the points used to go towards the sides but now they move randomly for more accuracy and this setup takes more time compared to the previous one and another change when you disable the eye tracking you can see instead of yes now we have a ok text and now let's talk about the changes what they have done with few of the applications starting off with the messaging app so now you can see the emoji size have been increased 
this is how it used to look before and you can see the change here along with that now we also have the support of memojis directly into the keyboard before we had to tap on this plus icon tapping on more and from here we used to see the memoji options but now the access have been made quite simple next talking about the changes in gallery applications so here very minor change which i noticed so if you see towards the right top corner previously we used to see search icon towards the left hand side and the select icon towards the right hand side but now they have been interchanged select text have been moved towards the left hand side and the search icon towards the right hand side so this is only one minor change what i notice in the gallery application after that few changes are also done in other applications one of them is podcast you can see the welcome page have more information compared to previous one also few other changes in the welcome page of health application before it used to say your health data is private and secure now it says protect your health data now talking about some minor changes what they have done in the settings page so one of them is layered to this transfer or reset which was previously clubbed with the shutdown text but now both of them do have different section then under siri response once you can see they have removed this option called when connected to car bluetooth which was previously present on beta 2 but now not available on beta 3 so guys these were all the minor changes what you'll see with iOS 18 beta 3 and if you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video